الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يدلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد يقول الله تعالى في القرآن العظيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبغة الله ومن أحسن من الله سبغة ونحن له عابدون صدق الله العظيم All praises are for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We glorify Allah And we thank our Creator For His blessings, His favors and His bounties upon us I testify that there is none to be worshipped but Allah He is alone and He has no partner And I testify that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and final messenger. Ibadallah, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us in the Quran that there is a mode of life prescribed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says, Sibghat Allah, the mode of Allah, وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ مِنَ اللَّهِ سِبْغَ And who has the best mode of life other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself? وَنَحْنُ لَهُ عَابِدُونَ And we are his worshippers. We are the worshippers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, in this world that we live in, everyone thinks that the way he conducts, the way or he or she conducts life, it is the best way. Everyone thinks that whatever they do, this is the best way to do it. And quite often, we tend to do it the wrong way. Quite often, in living this life, we tend to transgress the boundaries set by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So often, life is lived in a way contrary to the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prescribed. Whether it be in terms of our interaction with our Creator or our interaction with His creation, whether it be in our material life, our spiritual life, or economic life, political, whatever it is, so often people tend to move away from what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prescribed. And whenever this happens, my dear brothers and my dear sisters, we have seen in history that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punishes people for their disobedience, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us so many stories in the Quran about people before us and how they disobeyed the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and because of their disobedience Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent upon them uh, diseases sent upon them the earthquakes, floods different type of catastrophes and we in present day we are not immune and so my dear brothers and my dear sisters we, we need to make sure that whatever we do in life it, it is done in the best way and the best way is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prescribed Allah tells us in the Quran with regards to life and death with regards for uh, with regards to us not being anything and then being being, and, and being given life Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا وهو العزيز الغفور and it is he Allah who has created death and life so that he may test you to see what to see who is the best in conduct الإحسان أحسن who performs the best and the best of performance is when it is in accordance with the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the traditions of his prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that it is he Allah who is the mighty and the forgiving Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, Inna Allah katab al-ihsan ala kulli shay. Fa'idha dhabahtum fa'ahsinu al-dhibha. Wa'idha qataltum fa'ahsinu al-qitla. O kama qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Verily, Allah has written perfection, or Allah has written for you to do things in the best way. So whenever you sacrifice, make sure that it is being done in the best way. And if you were to encounter someone in the battlefield, for example, and, and that person was to die at your hands, make sure that the dying of that person, it is in the best way. Do not mutilate the body. Do not do things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would not approve of. And that's the ihsan, doing things the best way. In this world that we live in, we, we see people neglect the best way for ways that others are recommending. For example, you, you go to a wedding today and you want to begin with the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Qur'an. And the one who has to recite the Qur'an is being told, make it short. And, and the entire evening is spent in music. What is the best way? The best way is to... Remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bi dhikrillahi tatma'innu al-qulub Through the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala There is comfort to the heart It brings peace of mind, tranquility Someone experiences a good thing in life They want to celebrate What is it that Allah and His Messenger taught us 
when, when you celebrate and you want to talk about the bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you, you begin with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you give thanks to Allah and, and, and you know, praise to Allah and shuk and thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Someone is blessed with life, 50 years old, 60 years old, and instead of making prostration to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for example, in giving thanks to Allah for seeing so many years, some people celebrated it with, you know, parties. And, and parties where there are alcohol and things happening that are very unlawful. And that's what we experience in, in the world today, my dear brothers and my dear sisters. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says in the Quran, لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنِ تَقْوِيمِ ثُمَّ رَدَدَنَاهُ أَسْفَلَ سَافِلِينَ And verily, we have created man in the best of mold. The word Ahsan again. Allah says we have created man in the best of mold. We have given him intellect. Do the right thing. Enjoin right, forbid evil. Follow the, law, law, the, the laws of your creator. Be obedient, be submissive. If you do otherwise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says you will be returned to the lowest of the low you will be worse than the animals. And so we have been given status, we have been given prestige and honor as the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to maintain it by making sure that we use our intellect uh, properly. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He tells us in the Quran, Allahu nazzala أحسن الحديث كتابا Allah has revealed the best of announcement Allah has revealed the best of announcement which is the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He says in the Quran Alif la meem ذلك الكتاب لا ريب في هدى للمتقين In this book there is no doubt in it is guidance for those who fear Allah in it is guidance for the righteous, the pious ones. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, don't look at other books. Don't look at other things. Take guidance from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is the best announcement. It is the best. When you look at the, the Quran, anything that you, when you look at it, if you want to be the best, it is there in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he, he reminds us in the Qur'an that this is the purpose of this Qur'an. إِنَّ هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ يَحْدِي لِلَّتِي هِيَ أَقْوَمْ Verily, this Qur'an guides to that which is most upright. It guides to the best way. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he reminds us that this is the book that it, in it is the best announcement. Anything that you want and, and you want to know what is the best, it is in the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also reminds us that when we speak with one another, speak in the best way. He says in the Quran, وَكُلِّ ibadi." يَقُولُ الَّتِي هِيَ أَحْسَنُ إِنَّ الشَّيْطَانَ يَنْزَغُ بَيْنَهُمْ إِنَّ الشَّيْطَانَ إِنَّ الشَّيْطَانَ كَانَ لِلْإِنسَانِ عَدُوًا مُبِينًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and say to my servants that they should speak only that which is the best. Look at how we address one another. 
there, there should not be any type of animosity and hatred in our speech. When we talk to each other, there must be some compassion and kindness, love. It, 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 the people must feel comfortable. You know, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Inna rifqa la yakunu fi shay'in illa zanahum wala yunza'u min shay'in illa shanahu aw kama qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that when you put beauty, when you put the kindness and compassion into something it brings out the beauty of that thing. And when you remove it, when you remove that kindness, that compassion, that good speech, it, it, it takes away the beauty of that thing. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, and say to my servants, that whenever they speak, let them speak only that which is the best. Shaitan will always try to let them deviate. Shaitan will always be there looking to sp spread that dissension, that animosity, that hatred. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Verily shaitan to you is a, a great enemy. Keep away from shaitan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he also says in the Quran again, Udu'u ila sabili rabbika bil hikma wal maw'izati al hasana wajadilhum billati hiya ahsan Inna rabbaka huwa a'lamu biman dalla an sabili wa huwa a'lamu bil muhtadin Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says when you invite to the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala invite with wisdom and invite with goodly exhortations in the if you have to debate, debate in the best way. Don't drag people down because you think that you are better than them. You are more intelligent than them. No, do it in the best way. For verily your Lord, He is well aware of those who move away from his path and he is well aware of those who have guidance of those who are on his path the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala my dear brothers and my dear sisters even in in the simplest of things and sometimes it seems very insignificant especially among the young today. We, you know, the greeting of Islam. There are some who do not want to even greet you. And remember that greeting is sunnah. It is a sunnah for us to greet one another. But when someone greets you, you must return that greeting or else you are incurring sin upon yourself. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says in the Qur'an, وَإِذَا حُيِّيْتُمْ بِتَحِيَّةٍ فَحَيُّوا بِأَحْسَنَ مِنْهَا أَوْ رَدُّوهَا إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ حَسِيبًا And when you are greeted, Allah says, return the greeting. If someone says, Assalamu alaikum to you, Say, Wa alaikum as Return it with better or return it with the same. And we always look to do better. 
because in doing better there are tremendous rewards and we remember the hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when someone entered and said assalamu alaikum and it was said for him is 10 10 rewards and then another one entered and said assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah and it was said for him it is 20 rewards and then another one entered and said assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and it is said for him is 30 rewards look when you do it better you get more reward from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that even though you may think that it is not you know uh, significant Allah says in the Quran, in Allah kana ala kulli shay'in hasiba, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes every single thing into account. Whether it is small, whether it is large, minor or major, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes everything into account. My dear brothers and my dear sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that when we we do things in the best way that even those who were considered our enemies they will turn out to be our warm friends allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says in the quran idfa billati hiya ahsan fa idha alladhi baynaka wa baynahu adawatun ka'annahu waliyun hamim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Repel the evil deed with one which is better. Then the person with, between whom and you, there seemed to have been some enmity, that person will become as though he was a warm friend or a good friend of yours. That's how we live life, my dear brothers and my dear sisters. We live life in accordance with Sibhat Allah, the way of Allah, the mode of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we do this, we will be living life in the best way. The world that we live in today, it is a very corrupt world. It is a world in which everyone thinks that he or she is doing the right thing, even though it is contrary to the laws of Allah and the traditions of his Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa We all need to check ourselves, evaluate. Am I doing what my Lord has commanded? Am I living life in accordance with the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every day we need to evaluate. We need to look at ourselves. Yes, we will make mistakes, but we need to correct and to learn from those mistakes. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to live good lives. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to perfect our lives. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المؤمنات من كل ذنب فاستغفرون إنه هو الغفور الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحابه أجمعين رضوان الله عليهم إلى يوم الدين أما بعد my dear brothers and my dear sisters Allah سبحانه وتعالى says in the Quran ومن أحسن قولا ممن دعا إلى الله وعمل صالحا وقال إنني من المسلمين and who is better in speech than the one who invites to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who is better in speech than the one who is always inviting people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The one who does righteous deeds and the one who submits his life to the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
My dear brothers and my dear sisters, as I said earlier, we are not immune from, you know, uh, being in the same state as those before us. The punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes in different forms. In the, when we disobey the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we see what we are seeing in our society today. The, the type of uh, diseases and the type of the, the hurricanes and the floods and the earthquakes and all these natural catastrophes it, it, it is you know it, we should look at it in this way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing us will we obey or will we disobey will we seek forgiveness and turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or will we continue life the way we are living life thinking that it is the best way. The best way is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordained. The best way is what Allah has commanded. Let us read the Quran, follow the traditions of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so that our lives would be lived in accordance with the laws of Allah and the traditions of his Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. لَقَدْ أَمَرْنَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى فِي الْقُرْآنِ الْعَظِيمِ حَيْثُ قَالَ إِنَّ اللَّهُ وَمَلَائِكَتُهُ يُسَلُّونَ عَلَى النَّبِيمِ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا صَلُّوا عَلَيْهِ وَسَلِّمُوا تَسْلِيمًا اللهم صل وسلم على عبدك ورسولك محمد وأرضى اللهم من كل فائه على الله أبي بكر وأمر وأثمان وعليم وأن ستة الباقين مبشرين بالجنة وأن سائر الصحابة وأن التابعين ومن تبعهم بسان لا يوم الدين اللهم عز إسلام والمسلمين اللهم نور قلوبنا بنور الإيمان وثبت قلوبنا على الدين الإسلام ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم اللهم لا تدع لنا في مقامنا هذا ذنبا إلا غفرته ولا هم إلا فرجت ولا حاجة من حوائج الدنيا والآخرة إلا قضيتها ولا مريضا إلا شفيت ولا ميتا إلا رحمت ولا دينا إلا قضيت اللهم تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربة وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي ذكم لا لكم تذكرون فاشكروا الله على نعمه واذكروه على آلائه ولا ذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون أقم السلام